Hey everybody, welcome back, Super Auto Pets. Feels weird to be recording a YouTube video. It's been, I mean, the videos have been coming out, obviously, but I think the last one I recorded was like December 22nd. And it is now January 3rd. Feels good to be back. By the way, last day that uh, my daughter's daycare was open was December 22nd. And the uh, first day that it's been open since then, January 3rd. So uh, you could probably find out, yeah, 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 the animals are leaving and uh, you, uh, you get the idea. Um, okay. It's a weekly. I don't know what's going on on the weekly this week. We'll figure it out. I think that a moth basically guarantees like a one for one. And the seahorse is a, it's good on stats. Now this is touchy. I'm going to take the otter. I kind of hope it hits the seahorse. It's a dream come true. Because of the shuffle... I actually think the otter makes more sense. And let's be a s gasping masseuse. Probably could have gone soothing masseuse, but let's go, uh... Let's go with a gasping masseuse instead. Maybe I'm a little bit, uh... A little bit out of the loop. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I thought that was a pretty good performance right there. I can't really complain about how our stats worked out there. We will take a fish if we get another fish, which we did not get. This is where I'd put my fish. If I had one, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go a little crazy. And I'm going to put my squad in this way. The fish is basically like me trying to get a plus one, plus one for everybody at some point. We are going to dominate this squad without a doubt. But I feel like just getting the raw stats from having our otters combined is fine. I don't really care the otter gave itself a plus one, plus one. That's not so bad. And um, croissant. Croissant is a good food. It's a good food to purchase early. Maybe you're going to stick around for a minute. I don't know. Let's sell the beaver because it gives us a benefit for selling it. Let's take the pug because it gives us some stats. Let's roll and freeze. We have no hurt triggers right now. Roll. Roll. You're going to level up. Do I need... You leveling up and giving more attack? I think that's one of those things that like seems good but actually isn't really all that important. As long as our moth one for ones... I'm not worried about it giving, uh, like, three extra attack to another unit, because almost every unit is gonna one-tap every unit it comes across at this point anyway, even if it gets one-tapped to itself. So it's all, yeah, I'm just trying to distribute the funds appropriately, okay? And we're really, more than anything else... I'll, I'll spend the cap on this one. More than anything else... We're saving for our turn five level up, which seems... Oh, I should put the pug on the fish. It's an incalculable error. <laughs> oh, okay. It's all right. I'm trying to see how this is going to... I think we win this one anyway, which is merciful. But I think we've constructed our team quite nicely so far. No complaints. Okay. We should sell... the seahorse to buy a clownfish. And I think we should go stats. That's interesting. We're going to freeze both and roll just to see if we got another level up instead, which we did. And then I think we're going to go this. Dude, that's an early llama. We could definitely sell you and like sell the fish after it levels up, maybe. Like, freeze me. Like, this is a weird looking squad right here for sure. But I think we want it to be set up like this. I really like the way our team looks here, to be honest. I know it looks like we got a lot frozen. And also, this is my first run of the weekly, so I have no idea what kind of stuff we're going up against. But I, I love the way this squad looks right now. Don't make me regret that. This is a tie, also known as a draw. I don't think we're going to level you up. I got to think about this one. I'd rather think about it. I think we want this for sure. You give two XP when I level you up. But you do get the permanent stab bonus. Hey, maybe you just buy it now. Get it out of the way. A worm. I've learned my lesson on that one, I think. I'm going to keep you around just so we can get the buff out of you at some point and then sell you probably. Plus, you got the croissant. I'm going to sell you... Or am I going to keep you around now that I look at it? Because am I going to keep you? Maybe I do want to sell you and keep you around for that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a tough one, but I think I think this makes sense. It might look a, a touch spicy. 
It might be a touch spicy. I think it's pretty good. I mean, for now, we should do it like this, but it would it would have been nice to have two of them because then we'd, we'd get the bonus from the double level up, but then that would have made our llama like one turn slower at getting uh, statted up, and we're going to lose this one. Okay, maybe, I have, maybe my team is falling apart. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. Or has it? Okay, this is a gimme. You take the buffalo. Now we can sell our pug. Even though it's our best unit. I don't know if I would recommend that, but... We put you out here. Gain one gold on roll every turn. Now this is where things get a little complicated. Pardon me. We should like buy you, roll. We get a gold back. You don't need to really exist anymore. No disrespect or whatever. You probably need to exist. Roll. Sell. Roll once, see what you get. <laughs> Lots of good stuff here. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I, I'll tell you, we're definitely sticking with the clownfish for now. This is a 1-1 one, one that'll also give you like 4-4. Four, four. If we're going to keep you, it's really hard to argue with like avoiding that on this turn. That's a really good buy. It also gives a little support to you. The garlic is kind of a gimme, and in fact, you probably want two garlics. Hold on, I'm not, I'm not giving up on this team. I think it's got a certain something. Now, they've got uh, just a stronger team in every single capacity, so that's a little disappointing for me. I'm just, I've lost complete confidence in myself. Well, something like this. I mean, it, if we're going to roll the clownfish... We might as well, like, roll the fish as well, because it's close to leveling. And then you guys really need some support, honestly. Like, you need you need this garlic. The right play might have even been two garlics. Honestly, the right play is probably to have everybody kitted out with some garlic here. I still, in my heart of hearts, believe this squad can do what needs to be done. Although I'm very quickly realizing uh, every team we play against is beating us but I think they're beating us because they have Lynx. I think Lynx maybe is just a... It's going sicko mode already. Why don't you guys just take that? Roll me once. What do we got here? Just this. We, we might be stuck on three. And that would be like devastating for me because I think we got great shops. So it would be like a case of pilot error for sure. Be my own, my own fault. Please, just let me live to fight another day. <laughs> you piece of junk. All right, um, buy links in all circumstances. That's what I've learned from this. 2-3 becomes a 3-4. I think that's pretty good. I'm flabbergasted at my, at my own death there. That, it, it hurt me greatly. Let's be a, uh, an Elden Tower. Perhaps you've heard of it. From 2022's fourth best game of the year, Elden Ring. I'm just messing with you. I just wanted to make you mad. Is the best of like the four that I played for sure. Roll me. Mm, I don't love this. That's okay. I still think you know. First two rounds, you're mostly mostly worried about stats and ideally getting like a level up. What a shot! Holy cow! And our our level up is pretty likely. We got great stats. We got two wins in the first two rounds. We're feeling good. We're feeling bad. Um, I would say roll. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Now, it's not the ideal time for a goldfish to show up, but that's okay. Why don't we put you up at the front for now? Does this squad win round three? Controversially, I'm going to say no. I don't think it's going to win round three. It looks like it's going to draw. I just, you know, I, I've played enough of the game. I have an intuition. I can't use my intuition to make better teams, but I can at least tell you when my team is maybe not quite good enough. I'm going to take my level here just to get the bonus. Now, this time, I'm feeling a little bit better. Would you? I probably would. I would probably sell you because you got the same... You got less upside than... it. Actually, you have more upside than a seahorse. I don't know what I'm talking about. But if we get another fish, we're riding high. <laughs> oh! Okay, okay. 
<laughs> Hang on. Again, the shops have been very, very nice for us. Do we win this round? I would say all signs point to yes, now that I've resolved it down to the point where I can see what's going to happen. Okay. There's three. We tied our previous performance. Now, this is where it should start to pop. How about you sell me, buy me, buy me. We're not going to have a level three anytime soon. Look at this squad, though. My word. Roll me. Ooh. <laughs> I've got way too much frozen. You know what? This, this is fine. I'll, I'll recognize our beetle is probably not going to get there. We got too much. Maybe we should have kept it frozen. Ah, whatever. Like, I'm not going to sweat it too much. I think that the game has been very kind to us here. Yes, very, very kind. I would love to see... What, what do we have frozen here? Oh, my God. <laughs> I would love to see... You're like one short. I think you're going to get there. So I'm going to give you this just to make our kangaroo better. But I, I think I will buff the beetle as well. I will buy more, um, more beetles if they show up here. We're going to draw. I was going to say go to the... No, we're going to win. We're going to the moon. <laughs> yes. 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 For now, I think some garlic could go in. Honestly, let's just pop it down on you. You got more stats now. We'll, we'll shuffle the teams around a little bit. Looking pretty good. Looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Okay, honestly, uh, the links are now in play. I repeat, the links are now in play. Your safety is no longer guaranteed. Also a great lion. Congratulations. I'm going to hit you with this. I'm going to hit you with this. And then... What I wouldn't give. What I wouldn't give for just one of those animals to be one of the animals I needed. Holy cow, a, a team without a lynx? A year without a Santa? Is that even the name of the movie? <laughs> so what it's called? Hold on. A year without a year without a Santa Claus, 1974. What is that information doing in my brain? By the oh, I love it. Does chocolate exist? No, I should have known. I want to roll for defensive foods and also matches. Still none. Very good. Not good. Not good. It seems like, um, I, I kind of, I mean, it's only been two rounds. We shouldn't infer too much from this maybe yet, but um, I seem to be doing pretty well in like the early game. And then like it all falls apart as soon as the Lynx is introduced. So that's, uh, it's causing me great consternation. Don't get me wrong. Love that for me though. And I, I sort of feel like this can work too. And I... I hate to say it. I just don't see the clownfish going that much further. I don't really see the octopus. Maybe. You know, maybe. Hang on. Toss me an octopus out here. Let's just see how she goes. You need to exist. <laughs> what have I done? I've abandoned my boy. We could sell the fish, admittedly, but like... It's 11-11 with garlic on it. Like, it's got a certain... I don't know what. What a shot. Okay, we got revenge on the lynx. Break some melon armor. Do some damage. Get messy. Make mistakes. My god, we're gonna win a round? I, I didn't think it could happen after round six. We won a round. Okay. You still might as well level, I think. You still might as well take a buff. And then, sure, we're probably, my, my expectation is I'm going to give you garlic. You getting the one-up is kind of interesting, though. Because you'll get the six damage guaranteed. And then if you, when you die, you'll come back and give another six damage. That's, it's at least interesting. Uh, please do not hit the peacock. That's fair. I'll, I'll live with that. Now, my whole squad is doomed, I'm realizing. Doomed, yeah, okay, strong team, strong team. 
Hey, by the way, the Golden Pack comes out next Monday. So <laughs> we should, uh, apropos of nothing at all, we should have a, an injection of new content. Hopefully by next Tuesday is, is my thinking. I'm going to run a little anti-moth up at the front if that interests you. Let me be a pouting player because that's how I feel right now. Anti-moth technology. Man, if you could combine my early game with an average late game, I'm telling you, dude, nothing could stop you. I love my stats. I love them. Don't hit the other Marmoset, that's all I ask. T completely fine. Well within the, the realm of reason. Got great level up potential. Good stats. I don't know if we're going to win this round, but I think there's a, you know, a, a solid chance we at least draw. There's a solid chance we at least uh, lose, actually. But this is a strong team, too. Okay. I think we should combine you and then level. And you got 6 HP. I think a kangaroo will go kind of crazy there. And I would roll once more. Ooh, a peacock. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. I think a peacock can be a strong unit, especially now that I know that they're good because uh, we just got beaten by one. Uh, excuse me, a 3-9 elephant on turn three that has meat on top of it? How did you, how did you concoct this scenario? My God, we're going to draw. I, I sort of can't believe it. You are going to get garlic soon, so I'm not going to give you a croissant. You can take a croissant. Come on, hit me. I want you to... Ooh, I don't need you to hit me. Sell me. Purchase me. Peacock is now a 2-7. You move up, you move back. You move here. Ooh! <laughs> Sorry. Peacock is now a 2-9, making our kangaroo that much better as well. And we got a level 2 beetle coming up. I hit the space bar. I don't know what I was hitting the space bar for. Okay, they're doing pug strats. They get a very similar looking team to my own. This looks like a this looks like a draw to me. We probably deserve to lose. Their their team was really good, but we, we'll take my draw. We'll take our draw. One of these. I think is for me is really hard to argue with the scaling you can get from a buffalo. Here's what I would say. Roll me. That way we can like, listen, roll me once more. I regret it. <laughs> Sell me. So what I was going to say is we want to get like a, a different food on you to give you two more health. And I guess we can do that. But this three gold for two health replacing a croissant. No, thanks. And I, it's time to sell the marmoset too. Maybe we should buy a goldfish. That's, that's so true. The two leftmost pets cost less. So sure, let's buff you. And th that would be nice as well. So next turn, we, we're, we're structuring the team. It should be structured around the peacock probably, but I, I just feel a certain, a draw towards the bison, which is actually a buffalo, just because it's like easier to guarantee that it pops off. Are we going to abandon the whole squad in favor of that strategy? Well, when you phrase it like that, it sounds pretty bad. <laughs> I think you could take this, though. Hold on. Why don't you take a buff? Why don't you take a buff? I would love to buy one more friend. That will not be happening, though, as, as I can see right now. Roll me, then. Roll me. This is a good buy sell. We might want that. We had a hurt trigger option too. <laughs> I think this is okay. I'm losing my mind. And I am reaping none of the benefits, okay? Yeah, yeah, confirmed. Confirmed none of them. None of the benefits here. Absolute zero of the benefit. Yeah, okay. So we're going to be on lethal. It's not ideal. In that case, I mean, you got to go. We need the space. We need to be able to do something like this. And then sell you. And then, like, honestly, you're just a good unit. 
And you're cheap, and you buff us. You only got one trigger left this turn, unfortunately. What am I doing? What am, what am I doing? Where am I going on this one? I think I'm selling you. I think your time is at an end here. Though I appreciate what you've done for me. And we're going to then run two deer up at the front. Which could get extremely hard countered by one deer. Which, like on the enemy squad. Which would be unfortunate, but... They don't have a deer. They also don't have a lynx for the first time in Earth's history. Which is nice for me. Oh, we, you know what? We traded two for two. Maybe this squad is not as horrendous as it looks like. I think we sell the peacock next. We need to do buy sell. It's just like, the, that's just how the, the win condition is going to run for us here. Because really, like, the only thing we have going for ourselves right now is this buffalo. We have a free roll. I would buy this for certain. Okay, it buffed the unit that would have gotten a 1-1 one, one buff from buying the beetle and putting it on top of it anyway, but no sweat, I guess. Uh, I'll end my turn. A 17-19 with garlic. I'm not super optimistic. We are not going to two for one this time. We're torched. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you. The people have gotten too good. Okay, mosquito, mosquito. I like this. We we gotta we gotta shake off the yolk here, okay? Anti moth technology will be a, just an unwashed computer. I'm not washed. It's crazy how like being washed. Here's how messed up the world is. Sorry, I rethought the bit halfway through. Here's how messed up the world is. Can you try to explain this to a time traveler? Hey, in 2022, being washed is a bad thing. <laughs> Make it make sense. Anyway, luckily we're not washed, so we don't have to worry about that. Hit me with one of these. Don't hit this mosquito. I appreciate that greatly, more than you could ever know. Man has worst take ever. Asked to leave. We won a round! Okay, let's go. Round, round, one around. I won a round. I said a woo -a a woo Um... I still think a peacock can go pretty hard. I would put two of those on the squad, and if you're annoyed, that's a you problem. That's a level. I, I'm not sold on the elephant. It is It has good stats, but I, I don't think we need the peacock to get mundane, banal hurt triggers. I think instead we would be... I hate this team. <laughs> we would be happy if the peacock got hurt triggers just from getting hurt. That's an adequate distribution. I pass. Probably take next rounds. Maybe one of you can hold on to this croissant for now. It shouldn't have been you. I know that now. Maybe it's fine. Hey, joke's on you. I got it. Uh, never mind. Joke's on me. <laughs> I was going to say joke's on you. I got another freaking peacock. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Joke's on both of us because we drew. The Lord of the Soup. I am the Lord of the Soup, said he. Now, this is for all the marbles. It's still really good. I know. I know. It's like it never works. But what if it could? So, like, buy me? Sell me. You guys should probably get combined. Buy me. I love that for me. And then you should probably like level up. I think it's a great idea here. We'll take a Lynx next turn. And I am not going to be too gun shy about overriding the uh, croissant. Garlic is the right thing to have on a peacock. Get smoked. No, I'm, I am the one who will be smoked. I am the one who smokes here. Hafu, what the heck? Uh, this is a betrayal on levels never before seen. <laughs> it's probably not her. It's probably her. You, if it was Hafu was taken, then I would know. But, okay, how about this? This? You need the garlic for certain. The best time to do it was last year. The second best time is right now because it's only the third of the month. We're not going to level up our beetle. That's a sunk cost. 
And now we're just gonna let the Lynx take us to Funky Town. Hit the Kangaroo. Hey, it's still pretty good. Actually, it's still extremely good. I'm back. Washed, am I? Give me a rematch with Hafu. I'm ready. The squad's ready to go. Sure. We do need to buy sell a little bit more. I'm going to make a judgment call. Not enough gold. That's fine. Um, that I think the pug to get the links to level two faster, if we if we get a little lucky, would be very nice. Because a level two links is like, I mean, it it sounds like it's self evident, but it's twice as good. And most animals do not become twice as good on level two. So you're gonna get sold. I don't think we're buying anything yet. Nothing yet. Something. Might as well just put you right there. Might as well put you right here. I think we got a good thing going on. I, I'm just going to have the pug buff the lynx out of laziness right now, essentially. It's just a 1-1 buff, more or less. Holy cow, their Okapi is so strong. We could still draw this. We could still lose, obviously. We can lose easily. Okay, we're on lethal again. On three wins? I... <laughs> I thought we were doing so much better than we are. <laughs> Buy me. Sell me. Roll me. I mean, you'd be, you'd be a 9-9. Nine nine, but I, I really feel like we got to kind of focus the buffs on... Uh, on the peacock and the, and the buffalo. 1320 Peacock? There's a chance, man. There's a there's a shot. They got a T-Rex! This is the first time I've ever gotten this deep in the pack to see the animals. You lemon! <laughs> the lemon kept us from getting the draw. I've never even seen a lemon! Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. We'll practice it. I'll see you next time. See ya.